Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and today I'm making the shortest video I've ever made. <laughs> it's going to be extremely short, and that is uh, a, a version 1.6 beta of Lightburn is now available to the public. And in version 1.6 beta for the public release and 1.7 for the developers, there is a feature that I know I'm going to get a lot of feedback on. People are going to say, oh no, that was my favorite feature. <laughs> and they took it away. Well, Lightburn doesn't take features away. What they do is they modify them. So let's go jump into Lightburn real quick and take a look at what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, I have downgraded to the 1.6 version, which is the public beta as of today's date, which is 331 uh, 2024. And in here, one of my favorite features in version 1.5 is now gone. As you can see, that little green or blue dot that's usually right here where you can round the corners or you can make a country and western style sign is gone. <laughs> and the reason for this is they got a lot of feedback from users who were clicking that green dot by mistake. So it's not really gone. What it is, is you have to now press control to bring that blue dot up and now while you hold control you can still round the corners or make a country and western sign just by dragging that blue dot but if you let go that blue dot is gone so see i'm pressing control it's there let go of control it's gone so you have to press control to get that blue dot in the right spot there there is one other feature that I wanted to talk about real quickly because I got an email on it a couple of days ago and I answered that email and said, no, there's no way that you can do this. And I really didn't look through the release notes on uh, version 1.6. So pretty soon you're going to see an update, uh, update to the latest version 1.6. And if you come up here to the wrench and screwdriver icon, you'll see there is something new over here swap XY output to laser and this is something that someone just emailed me on and I hope he's watching this video because here is the answer you tick this on and you'll get a new pop-up window so if for instance you're using your laser in a different orientation you can swap orientations now as an example let's say that you've turned your laser sideways to put it into an enclosure and I'm sure that uh, Dave over at the Clack Shack is going to enjoy this feature if he isn't already. Then you can switch your uh, screen orientation in Lightburn to match that laser. So that's it. This, this is the entire video. And I wanted to get this out quickly because I know I'm going to get a lot of messages and emails from people that said, Hey, my favorite feature in version 1.5 is gone in 1.6 well it's not it's still there lightburn doesn't take away great features they just keep adding them with every new version so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this update i'll see you in the next one